How can teachers help foster a successful relationship with their students in which learning is a success? In this video, we will look to answer this question by discussing four important elements that make for a successful relationship between teachers and students in any classroom. Good relationships are important for many reasons in life and in school can oftentimes make the difference between success and failure. The approach teachers should take from day one is one that is transparent to the students that the teacher is firm but kind. Before students come into the classroom, teachers should have it organized in a way that shows students it is a warm and welcoming place but that it is also a place where learning happens. That is firmness. Teachers, of course, should show kindness when first meeting their students and getting to know who they are. Much like the food we eat, there must be a balance of attributes teachers show students. Teachers who are memorable to their students know how to keep the right balance between firmness and kindness with their students. In other words, even when the teacher is being firm with them, Students never forget that their teacher is also kind. Four elements for success in the student-teacher relationship are respect, communication, intuition, and attitude. These four elements come in no particular order, but for the sake of this video, we are keeping in mind the student-teacher relationship. Respect. The word respect comes with some important weight. Students who are in their early years in school tend to give this respect out freely to teachers and students alike. Yet when they seem to get older, not so much. But why is this the case? Students in their early years are coming from the environment where their parents have more of an influence over their behavior. However, as they spend more time in school, they are more influenced by their peers around them. Generally speaking, Parents teach their children to respect their elders and those around them. The teacher also continues ex expectation and is firm when this is, is establishing classroom rules and proper behavior. As students spend more time around their peers, their attention shifts from more from earning the respect of their teacher to earning the respect of their peers. How then can teachers maintain a good relationship with students as they get older? By being more transparent with their expectations as they require students to carry more responsibility. Teachers need to lead by example if they want students to respect them. Those who respect their students show a firmness of character when they expect their students to show them respect. This helps build kindness that both will seek and will make communicating with each other all more easy. Communication. In communicating between one another, teachers and students need to be aware of their intentions for saying what they mean and meaning what they say. Once again, students take their cues from teachers. When teachers are open and honest with students in communication, trust is built and students will learn how best to communicate with each other. Choosing the correct way to say something to a student, whether it be good or bad, can make for a big impact on the student's mental health. Oftentimes, if the intention is not clear, misunderstandings can cause problems for both teachers and students. Teachers who are open to learning from their students make for more caring and passionate ones. By openly acknowledging to their students that they are willing to learn from, their, from them, they begin to showcase one important skill that of intuition. A teacher's best skill is intuition. Why? In a classroom full of students, not every child is the same. Not every child will tell you what they think. Those students who have a hard time sharing their thoughts or ideas need different approaches or timing to allow them to shine through. On the other hand, students who find it easy to share what they think may give an insight to the teacher when it is best to either call on these students or avoid calling on these students during teacher evaluations. Therefore, it is best for teachers to use their intuition to either solve problems or avoid ones from starting. 
attitude. A good pair of shoes is essential for teachers, even more so than coffee, because a good pair of shoes can keep you, as a teacher, comfortable even to, enough to face whatever comes your way. As part of the teaching field, knowing how to calm a situation involving students or parents when school policy is not part of the equation all comes down to attitude. Teachers and their attitudes towards students and parents means that teachers of recent generations are walking a tightrope. Even with the best intentions, the wrong word can cause problems that no one could have foreseen. Therefore, as with most aspects of teaching, finding the right words to say is as challenging as finding the right pair of shoes that will keep you feeling comfortable all day long. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful for establishing good relationships between students and teachers. Relationships are one thing humans need to help them make the ups and downs of lives more bearable. One thing teachers have over technology is the ability to make the relationships with students that sometimes bring the much needed happiness into the lives of students. That is why, no matter how advanced technology gets, it can never replace an amazing teacher. Leave us a comment below to let us know your thoughts on our ideas and the importance of the relationship building between teachers and students. You can find links to resources that are useful to help students with their skills and studying and their learning in the links below. Thanks for watching.